Hey citizens, today we're going to cover some basics about capacitors and how they will affect combat in the upcoming Star Citizen 314 update. Our test vehicle will be the Anvil Hornet Ghost. The capacitor gameplay marks a milestone for growth and innovation in Star Citizen combat. It's a welcome addition, and I look forward to further progress from CIG. The frames you see on the screen will appear periodically during this session to help you focus on capacitor functionality during the combat footage we are using today. While en route from Orison to the first combat scenario, I will display the keybind additions for capacitors. Based on my current keybinds, the power triangle represents one tap to weapons and one tap to shields. Our NDP repeaters have an ammo capacity of 32 rounds per repeater. Once depleted, the capacitor will replenish and then reload. I have slowed the footage down so you can see this take place. The replenish and reload time depends on the amount of power diverted to the weapon capacitor. Our GT215s have physical ammunition that is limited capacity and does not replenish. Ballistics low. Ballistics dry. Boost, previously known as Afterburner, functions in a similar fashion to the weapon's capacitor. You have a limited amount of boost. After use, the capacitor will replenish and then recharge the boost meter. The speed of this replenishment is based on the amount of power diverted to the thruster capacitor. I've slowed down the footage for you here.
shields, from what I've observed, is a little different. It appears that after a regenerative delay, the shields then recharge. The amount of power diverted to the shield capacitors determines the speed of the recharge. During this scenario, I will divert all power to shields to show you how much faster shield regen is as opposed to our current settings. Capacitor gameplay adds a new dynamic to combat and puts a little more control and responsibility in the pilot's hands. Ships are falling into closer alignment with their intended roles and more forethought will be required when choosing and outfitting your ship. I look forward to the final version of 314 and to covering combat in more detail when it arrives. I hope you have found this video to be informative and helpful. Don't forget that Eleven's Hangar is giving away a Thrustmaster T1600M dual stick package when 314 goes live. So share your combat experiences and current setup in the comments below. Till next time, stay frosty, and I'll see you in the verse.